Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion on thermodynamics. So we we're discussing about the basic thermal properties of matter. And in this video, we are going to discuss about another very important concept, which is triple point of water. Okay. So water its three main states, important states. They are ice, which is the solid state, water, which is, you know, the liquid water, that state, and then water vapor, that is the gaseous or the vapor state. So, there is a combination of pressure and temperature, you know, the three important thermodynamic variables pressure temperature volume we discussed in the, while discussing the gas laws so i said that every relationship every thermodynamic relationship it will be based on mostly on these three variables and then there is the number of molecules and all that number of moles that will come later when we discuss kinetic theory of gases but mostly pressure volume temperature so here we will discuss about a combination of pressure and temperature where all these three states ice liquid water and water vapor they can coexist simultaneously they can coexist in equilibrium so that particular point where these three states of water can coexist in equilibrium that is called as the triple point of water this is the basic definition okay so this particular combination of pressure and temperature that is the triple point pressure is 0 0.46 centimeter of mercury the mercury level which is 613.2 pascal or it can also be expressed as 6.052 into 10 to the power minus 3 atmosphere that ATM atmosphere and 6.13 into 10 to the power minus 3 bar okay in any way you can express it so that is the triple point pressure then the next thermodynamic variable which is temperature the triple point temperature that is equal to 273.16 Kelvin or 0 0.01 degree Celsius. Okay, so these two combination that is uh, not uh, this two but these two thermodynamic variable combination that is very important when it comes to specifying the triple point. Okay. This is PTR, TTR, triple point pressure and triple point temperature. So if we try to understand this in a, in a, in a, in a graphical way, so this will be the graph, you know. So here in the x axis we have temperature and in the y axis we have pressure. This is the triple point okay this is the triple point which is 613.2 pascal which is 0 0.46 centimeter mercury and this is the temperature which is 273 okay this 273.16 Kelvin or 0 0.01 degree Celsius. So here you can see we have a red color plot, you know, line then uh, or a curve, then a blue color curve and then a green curve. So if you see, we have area demarcations where this side everything on this side okay this green and top of the red curve and 
left to the green curve line or curve that is solid so for any combination of pressure and temperature in this zone in this zone water will exist as ice that is the solid state this area then for any combination of pressure and temperature in this zone okay let me use a different ink okay in this zone for any combination any combination of pressure and temperature which lies in this zone water will exist in liquid state so it goes on up to infinity okay then then we have this zone okay let me use green color okay so in this zone any combination of pressure and temperature water will exist in vapor state water vapor like this it goes on and on so this curve it can be stretched even further so like that so basically what we are trying to say is that if we pick let's say this is solid liquid vapor so let's say i pick a combination let's say here a point here okay where this is a particular combination of pressure and temperature so this point falls in the solid area so at this particular combination of pressure and temperature water will be in solid state that is ice let's say i pick a spot here a point here so at this point at this particular combination of pressure and temperature let's say it is p2 t2 okay where well, this is the pressure and this is the temperature as it falls in the liquid zone so at this combination of pressure and temperature water will be in liquid state okay this is p1 and t1 and let's say i pick another spot a point here okay so this is the pressure p3 and this is the temperature t3 so at this particular combination of pressure and temperature water will be in vapor state because it is in the vapor area this is the whole point of what i was trying to say so any combination of pressure and temperature in this area it will result in vapor state any combination of pressure and temperature which is within this zone okay this area it will result in liquid state and any combination of pressure and temperature pressure and temperature coordinates which falls in this solid zone it will result in ice okay water existing as ice so this is the thing so this point the intersection point of these three curves that is the triple point okay so at this particular combination specific unique combination of pressure and temperature that is 613.2 pascal or 0.46 cm of mercury and 273.16 kelvin or 0.01 degree celsius at this unique point at this specific point which is called as triple point solid 
liquid vapor that is ice liquid water and water vapor they can simultaneously they can coexist in thermal equilibrium that is the significance of triple point and why it is uh, important because in many thermometric measurements we have discussed you know the different scales celsius fahrenheit romer uh, then uh, kelvin scale we have a lower fixed point and a upper fixed point lower fixed point which is uh, the ice point and upper fixed point which is the steam point these are the two uh, you know fixed point values but in modern thermometric measurements in lot of thermometric measurements actually the triple point of water is chosen to be one of the fixed points because of this significance because all the three states can coexist in thermal equilibrium okay and because it is characterized by unique combination of temperature and pressure it is preferred over the conventional fixed points that is the uh, ice point and steam point that also the melting point and melting point of ice and boiling point of water they both you know show variations when pressure is changed that is why this triple point which is a particular combination of pressure and temperature it's more suitable to use this as a reference point you know for thermometric measurements okay so this is uh, we have discussed about uh, triple point another important thing again presence of uh, impurities in uh, substance they change the values of the melting point and boiling point presence of impurities in water but the triple point of water is independent of these external factors that is why also triple point is a suitable choice as one of the reference points in thermometric measurements okay so here we have discussed about triple point which is a very important you know uh, concept in terms of thermometric measurements and in our study of thermodynamic uh, variables or parameters so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much